Yes, it's that time again, boys. It's a confession thread. <laughs> Confess now, or forever speak your peace. <laughs> I refused to run or DM a D&D 5th edition game due to the fact I spent over a year looking online to join a game. I became disgusted with the deluge of 5th edition that I couldn't join. I even found a Call of Cthulhu one-shot to join, but the GM got in a car accident. He's okay, and I call it off. The only good thing I can say about this year is I've been in two homebrew slash playtesting games. First one at the start of the year, it was this modern day furry 5th edition setting called Tales of the City. Oh no. I was desperate for a game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't even really desperate. <laughs> yeah. After the game, I found out the creator was rage was a raging racist, manipulative asshole. He really hated Indians, <laughs> the Native American Indians. Now I'm in another homebrew slash playtesting game. The DM slash writer is a great guy, and I really enjoy his game. That's good. Not, I'm yeah. happy for him. Look, at least it's working out. Yeah, it's not you know, a sin. It's okay. I, I like it's it. It's a when sin I'm... that you played a furry testing. Yeah, that probably is a sin. But like, if you were desperate, yeah. we won't judge you too hard. It's okay. You're forgiven. <laughs> I dread playing a current campaign due to a longtime friend because they are a power gaming meta slave player that bitches and whines when they are not the centre of attention. Oh, that's sad, mate. But has zero desire to roleplay. So it makes an unending cycle of making decked out characters and complains when the littlest things the character isn't supposed to be able to do fails once at it. And they are a passive aggressive bitch about the rest of the session. Oh, I don't know what you do with that, be honest with you. Give it a slap. <laughs> yeah, be honest with you. I don't know. You know, I don't really mind power gamers all that much. Yeah. But it's difficult whenever there's only one at the table. Yeah. And then it messes the balance up for the rest of the group, you know, and makes yeah. things, you know, it just gets difficult. Wow! I choose a hit or miss spell on my warlock and it missed. I'm useless. Oh no, I rolled min damage on a smite. Not getting that slot back. Yes, that was a remark. Ugh. Fighters are so one-dimensional, but I choose to play a fighter all the time in the exact same manner. And worst of all, I don't feel invested in my character anymore. I don't feel a part of the game. Literally after the session where they passed up four times in which they were asked if their character wanted to do anything. Uh, I... <laughs> I don't They're know. just whining for the sake of whining at that point. <laughs> you know, like, I do feel bad for these people sometimes. I know. But like, you know, mate, you got to help yourself. You know, you yeah, got to help so yourself. It's so hard to find a good grip. And if you're in a good grip, bar one person. Oh, what can you oh, do? What can you do? And like, you know, you don't want to disrupt the balance of the grip. by being like, oh, mate, he's a dick. I the fuck. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, it's, you know, I, I don't know. I wouldn't call that a sin. I just kind of feel more bad for you. Hopefully it works out, though. I really hope he changes his way. I run an erotic role playing game. Since there wasn't enough sex in it, I also decided to run another, even more pornographic. <laughs> when, when one just isn't quite it's, enough. It's not enough. It's no, not peak enough. No, I, I, I require... Not enough titties for me. Yeah. <laughs> but my players are having fun. At least I think they are. Worst one was an NPC in the not super lewd game being a bit of a tryhard. I don't know. Like... Well, at least they're having fun. Look. Well... We hope. <laughs> we hope. Like, I think I've said this before. When it comes to, like, a lot of cool playing games, as long as everyone's down for it, I really can care less. Yeah. You know, do what you like. You know, it's whenever you invite people and it's like, and wait, don't hold up. Like, <laughs> wait, hold up. Scratch what you... records. <laughs> yeah. like, you're wondering how I got in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I wonder about people, though. How do they get in that situation? Yeah. I took a week off from work to write a campaign book for my homebrew D&D setting. It revolves mostly around elves and the faggotory my players get up to. I actively encourage the actual homo shit that goes on at my table, and the players enjoy it. I've been playing since D&D 2nd edition, and I'm considering the grognard at my local friendly at my friendly local game store. I always get that mixed up. Just say game store <laughs> at this point. I, I, it's too long of an abbreviation. Or was until it closed down because of Rona. But I only run 5th edition, and only have for a long time. No one wants to play Call of Cthulhu or Clash of Clans. <laughs> <laughs> Clash of Clans. What's the other Anytime one? Anytime I say it, people are like, no, that's not what he meant. It's I'm like, so it's, it's Clash a, of Clans. It's, what, what, what's the actual one? It's Chaos and Corruption or something. Yeah. I can't remember. I don't mind that my players watch and enjoy Critical Role or want to play Mercer shit. And I enjoy allowing all official content. Eberron, Ravenica, Mercer shit in a normal campaign and have incorporated most of it into my setting. 
I don't particularly feel bad about enjoying the hobby, even if the pandering has gotten worse. And most of the previews from Tasha's have been iffy at best. Right. I haven't read. I've been avoiding all the spoilers from Tasha's Cauldron. It came in today. I haven't got a chance to... I'm going to check it out after the video. <laughs> so we'll see. But I've heard a lot of iffy stuff and, you know, boy's been all over the place. But, like, with this here fella, like, he's happy, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. He... You know what I think it is? He's more... Like, he kind of feels guilty because TG does shit on Critical Role and all merch and shit. And, yeah. you know, in D&D 5th edition in general. But he has got a big fan base. Like, like, you know, it's one of those ones I feel like, you know... You're going to, if you're playing D&D, you're going to come across people who... Are into this sort of... If you're playing in a game store. Stuff, if, yeah. you, if you're playing in a game store. Yeah. You know, and if this DM is enjoying himself, I don't really think... Who cares? It, yeah, Enjoy exactly. Yourself, have fun, play yeah. a game. Yeah, that's the way I view it, you know. I've grown out of this, and instead make myself suffer through a game when I straight up don't want to play. And people still try to get me to commit to other games, like I'm not already barely hanging on to the current game without ending it all. I don't know, like, if you're not enjoying it, it, yeah, it don't you, bother. Exactly. You know, I think the problem is with it as well, it's because it's such a social thing, if you cut that Especially out. Especially if, like, you've made friends and all throughout this, yeah. and, like, the only way you really see those friends is through role playing role playing games. games you know it is it would be hard i would say yeah but like, like just if you, if leave you, if it's making you that miserable just leave <laughs> ask your mates if they're doing anything else you yeah. know like Baldur's gates out it's not actually not that bad yeah see if you're up for doing a co-op play through that you know maybe i don't know find something else like fucking apparently fucking uh, cyberpunk's coming out in like a couple apparently of weeks. when <laughs> apparently that's coming out in a few weeks I don't know play something else you know take a break it's been years so I can't recall all the details but I either purposely got my character killed or just denied using him again when he got killed because his stats were terrible everything I did failed in the few sessions we played and I was outdone by everyone I just felt useless and wanted to start over and people complain and be like, oh, no, the superior way is to roll your stats. No, I, no. I, I, I like point by. I'm sorry. Yeah. Call me call me and me all you want, all day, every day. But I like my point by, all yeah. right? I don't want to be rolling up stats and then, you know, everyone else is like super overpowered compared to me. And I'm just sitting there useless, <laughs> sitting trying to fuck dice and shit. And it just, it's not you know, it just never works. And it's just like, oh, mate, you know, call me and me all you want. I don't care. That's how it is, all right? <laughs> that's my opinion. Fuck you guys. That's my confession. Well, I sodomized a player. I sodomized an annoying player with a pine cone. Beast. Somebody, <laughs> somebody replied to him saying, in character or IRL, cringe if former, beast beyond belief. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are f by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> And, um, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. Why are all furries either degenerate communists or degenerate Nazis? That's a very good there's question. No, there, I'm telling you, there's no in-between. It's very hard to find an in-between if mm -hmm. either they completely block out politics altogether mm -hmm. or they are extreme one end or the other. Gas everyone. Yeah, it's really weird. Like, yeah. why, like can weird. you guys maybe, ext like, maybe it's because, maybe it's, maybe, okay, okay, I've got an idea. No, it's just, it's just them being on the internet too much. Yeah, it could be, it could be. I have a Zoom Zoom brain, so I don't like to commit to characters long term. Instead, preferring frequent switching. I also don't like the work that could be for a DM and the dissonance it causes within the group relations. So I just play recklessly and act like an idiot in combat so my death will seem more naturally. DM pretty much never double taps in combat, unfortunately, so I have to wait for one hit kills and I never announce I'm down until all attacks are made so no punches are pulled. Well, look, at least he's <laughs> hiding it. He's not like, you know, like, yeah. I'm just going to give up on this character. I'm going to leave it. You know, at least he is trying to yeah. hide it. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I don't mind that. Like, you know, no. like if people like to if play you're different... If you not your character, just kill him. Yeah. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe you find something that you really enjoy playing. Yeah. Like you know, maybe you might find that one character that just mm. does it for you. I make female characters because I enjoy drawing them. All right, Garbo, calm you down there. Garbo, <laughs> <laughs> I played a ranger with a tiger companion. As time progressed, he kept getting her intelligent boosts and the ability to talk in his language. Pretty much Russian. A tiger with a Russian accent is absolutely terrifying. Yeah, I don't like the sound no, of that. No, I don't like that. With magic collars, and soon she had enough intelligence to become sentient. And soon the tiger, and my character, oh, for God's fell sake. in love oh, through for natural God. roleplay. Uh, okay. She was the one that made... Oh my God. She was the one that made advances first. In her eyes, my character was the best possible mate. Strong and resilient. It also helped that years ago, when they met, he saved her from a fur trap or tree snare. At first, he brushed off the advances. He considered her his true best friend, but after she gained the ability to speak and be capable of greater thought, he realized she was everything he ever wanted in a wife. Oh my god. And they've been through so much together. Flood-like hive mind flesh monsters, the wendigos. He decided to respond to her advances with advances of his own. Take note that the language they speak and the others in the party do not understand. <laughs> oh my god. So imagine a man and a tiger sweet talking each other in Russian. That night they went off away from camp and consummated their love. Long story short, my ranger got double pussy. Uh, uh, you are not forgiven. No. You are not fucking forgiven for your crimes. <laughs> no. No, you, you, no. Go back into your room, close the door, door. and close the window to you. <laughs> I constantly ignore, sideline, and basically bully one of my players. And I've, and I've done so for four fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> for a four year long mega campaign that we play on average once every other week. He's privately come to me in tears about it multiple times. And I always tell him that it's his fucking fault. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate his guts as a player. He never role plays at all beyond being horny or looking for money. He straight up reuses characters whenever someone else does a short campaign. He has a speech in <laughs> Is this you? Oh, no, it's not me. <laughs> 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 Okay, he has a speech impediment that makes anything he says take four times as long. He never plans his turns out in advance. And every time he rolls low or tries to stab a skeleton without coming to the basic room temperature IQ realisation that it has DR bludgeoning, he sulks about how useless he is for literal hours trying to make people comfort him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Honestly, I, I, soy. I, oh, I almost felt bad for him there. For a, fee, for a, no, for a wee moment. No, it's yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck him. I have made interesting side plots for everyone else's character. I've even given them NPCs that are important to them. And I've basically tailored the story to give those players a way to strive towards affecting their world in their desired manner. But I refuse to write anything for that fucking moron because I know he'll refuse to interact with it and he'll get pissy if the other players intervene. So I'll basically just be talking to myself for half an hour. I would absolutely kick him out if my other players weren't such bleeding heart pansies that watch too much Steven's Universe or some shit that would have a meltdown about hurting our friendship or whatever. As it is, I just have to be satisfied by minimising his possible presence in game. <laughs> I don't know if this guy's beast or not. I think he's pretty beast. I think he's pretty funny, like, you know. Um, like, fuck, what do you do with that? <laughs> well, then again, like, you know, like, the guy does seem like a very dedicated DM. He is really trying. He does put in a lot of subplots for people. He does work with people yeah. quite a bit. He seems like an alright DM. It's just this guy. Just this guy. He, it's really getting on his wick. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, mate, no. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised, like, if the guy came crying to him, talking to him, would he not have left on his own accord? I know. Honest to God, I, I don't know anyone that's actually made, my, made me cry in my adult life. No. But, like, see if someone actually made me cry in my adult life, I wouldn't be spending my like, time with, time them, with no. them. Like, if that was me, anyway. Yeah, no. What the fuck are you doing, mate? <laughs> so, guys, what do you think? What are your confessions? I haven't done one of these in... I haven't done these... In about a month Quite a while, or so, yeah. Or so. so I love these have ones anytime they come up. Yeah, if you have your own confessions, write them down below, and if there's any good ones, then we might do a video on it. 
and they make them good confessions now. Yes, not none good of this. Confessions. Like you know, like that guy fucking his tiger pet. That was a confession that was a conf- yeah. like, That was a genuine confession. He should have kept that to himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was actually that much of a confession. It would have been better off if he had just kept it himself to his own devices. <laughs> yeah. I want to know if the other players the group knew it was happening. Noticed, or yeah. if it was only the DM or if this was done between... That would actually have been very or interesting. Or if this was just all in his own head. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that makes it even worse, Megan. That makes it so much worse. <laughs> Well, as always, check out all the links, check out the website for the models, go up and hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime you post, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!